Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here, and welcome to BMTV Balloon Basics with the wonderful Mark Drury from Qualitex. Mark, hello. Hello. What are you looking at? You. All right. It's been a while, but we've had a lot of people ask us how to do these. Now, what do you call these? Precision bubbles. Precision bubbles. So we've asked a lot of, had a lot of people ask us how you do these. It's basically a 260Q with lots of bubbles in it. So exactly. You're going to show us how to do that, aren't you? Yeah. So um, uh, we're going to use a, a 260 that. chrome. And we're just going to inflate that. You want to be working with a relatively uh, a, a soft balloon. Yep. Uh, and essentially all you're going to do is create a small round bubble. Yep. Okay. Um, as soon as I let go of that, of course, either end, it's going to come undone. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm going to just drop that one in between my finger and then I'm going to continue making approximately the same size okay. twist. One of the important things is the amount of times that you rotate. Yeah. I want to rotate at least four times. And the other thing, I remember you telling me before. Always in the same direction. Always in the same direction. Yeah. Um, uh, and as I say, Chrome's beautiful to work with. It's lovely yep. and soft. Um, and and you, when you're making the, the, the round shape, they stay very, very round. It's lovely to use. And you can make these, depending on what you're doing, what you're using them for. I mean, they could be bubbles on a fish or whatever, and you can have different sizes. They don't have to be the same, but they look awesome when they are precisely the same size. They do. And uh, and whether mine are as precise, I mean, I'm not Dr. Barr. We're not going to zoom in that closely. No, Mark, exactly. But, um, I guess practice um, makes, it's makes perfect. It's exactly. And it's really inexpensive. Um, to have a play and have yeah. a practice at this one. Just have some patience, yeah. continue it. One thing I will say is as you move down the balloon, mm -hmm. um, uh, the air is going to move down with it, yeah. which changes the shape and the style of, uh, of the balloon at the end. So you need to have a sort of a squeeze and a feel. It's a feel in the, in the fingers that gets that shape. Okay. And that changes as you move down the balloon. So you've got to concentrate and always make the same uh, uh, style movement. And people, of course, put these on numbers, on giant numbers. Yeah. Uh, Amazing for those fusion bouquets, just yeah. to add that set. Fusion bouquets? Fusion bouquets, Is yeah. that what we're calling them? That's now? what I, well, yeah. That's, that's, what what we're, calling that's what we're calling them now, fusion <laughs> bouquets. I like that a lot. What's a fusion bouquet? A fusion bouquet is a fusion between the, 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 the foil and all the different elements that comes in in a coordinated manner. Okay. I've just made that up. Yeah, well done. You, did, you made it sound <laughs> like that's exactly what it is. I love it. <laughs> Okay, so um, at any point in time, if you want to stop, you can link these together by just pushing them through okay. as you would a cluster. Um, but I'm going to keep going to is the that end. Is that balloon? Sort of, I'm there now. I'm sort of right, yeah, right. Oh, it is. At, Perfect. at the end. Um, and then you can, as long as you've done all of the, um, all of the twists and rotated four times yeah. and twisted in the same way, that's not going to come undone. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. Well, there you go. Precision bubbles.